Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom. Um, this is a tiny little bathroom and I wish we had uh, the shower doors because I know a lot of people um, really struggle with keeping those clean. I have a curtain, so I won't go show you that, but I will tell you a little bit about that later. Um, I wanted to come on and I don't always clean in a ball gown, um, but I wanted to prove a point. So, I am in the tub, in a ball gown, gonna clean it. Who would do this? I normally don't clean in a ball gown, obviously, but to prove a point. Okay, so, most cleaners that you're using contain chlorine, either chlorine or bleach. Either one is gonna stain your clothes. It's gonna, you know, discolor them. We're cleaning with just water. So nothing is gonna get um, discolored. No harsh chemicals breathing in. Um, when I first started Norwex, let's have a tub talk, huh? Tub talk in a ball gown. This is crazy. Um, but when I found out about Norwex, I was very, very pregnant and I couldn't clean anything, okay? So, real tough talk here in a bowl gown. Um, cleaning with traditional chemicals, you're using something with chlorine or bleach. Um, the smell is toxic. Um, you know, you're breathing in the fumes that are not good for you. So, an alternative is cleaning with just water. It's insane and it is so true. I, I can't tell you enough how amazing this stuff is. Who's on there? I can't see. Roxanne, I think? Hi, Roxanne. Um, so we're having a tough talk in a ball gown. Who knew this was a thing? Um, okay, so the bathroom scrub mitt, guys. This thing is amazing. Two-sided. The first side is a ultra plush microfiber. So it's going to be picking up the dirt grime, small particles, bacteria, protein, it's going to be keeping that in this ultra plush microfiber, okay? Very similar to our dusting mitt. Um, one of my favorite things to clean in the, bath t in the bathroom now is the top of the toilet. For some reason that collects dust like crazy and to get that off, like you're just kind of smearing it around, right? But using this dry, you can use it wet or dry, it picks up all of that dust and gross stuff and just stores it in here, okay? All you do to get it out is rinse it out, hang it to dry, and you're good to go for the next time. The other side, um, so the ultra, ultra plush microfiber side also contains that back box. So it's, it has that micro silver weaved into the microfiber. Um, so that acts as an antibacterial agent. It's gonna self purify, self clean within 24 hours. Um, after you're done with it, you rinse it out, hang it to dry, it's good to go after 24 hours. Um, that's going to prohibit the growth of the mold and mildew bacteria. Um, it's not going to start stinking. So you can clean your entire bathroom. Um, just you know, rinse it out and hang it dry and you're good. Uh, I usually wash this. Depends on how often I'm cleaning my bathroom. Um, but using these products, you actually don't have to clean as often either. Uh, which is a huge plus uh, for any, any person who likes to clean the bathroom. Nobody I know of. Uh, but these products make it a lot more bearable, okay? So the other side um, is a, uh, a checkered weave, and it has um, uh, scrubby, scrubby power, okay? So this is gonna get off um, like any built on in the bathroom, let's say um, like hard water stains, um, soap scum, like any kind of scum that builds up, and it builds up pretty quickly. Um, you know, I. I usually wash, uh, clean the bathroom, like once a week I kind of wipe it down, but I do a real deep clean, um, like once a month. And um, so yeah, so it builds up really quickly, even even just washing it down um, once a week. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to actually get out of the tub here in just a second, bring the camera a little closer so you can see um, what I'm actually cleaning, um, and show you kind of the, the fibers of this. Okay, so. Um, just real quick, the way that I, I clean everything, I start with my EnviroCloth, okay? The EnviroCloth is gonna be able to clean 90% of your home. What the EnviroCloth um, doesn't pick up, if you need a little bit more elbow grease, a little bit more scrubby power, um, then I um, go to the, 
the bathroom scrub mint, okay? With a little bit of the cleaning paste. This stuff, you guys, is elbow grease in a jar. Um, it only has like three, three main ingredients, marble flour, natural soap, and um, trace amounts of coconut oil. But this stuff packs a punch. Did you guys see the Sharpie that it got off the tile? This stuff can, can get out almost anything. Um, I would challenge anybody for this, okay? Um, if this doesn't get it off, we have what is called the descaler. So this is enzyme-based. Enzymes actually eat up um, any of that gross stuff, okay? It's actually going to be eating it away um, without killing anything. It, it, it eats it up and it it's a super powerhouse. That I actually used on the shower head. So this, whoo, it's dripping. <laughs> oh, whatever. Um, so this guy picks up and holds on to um, my hard water, okay? So all I did was spray a little bit of the descaler, let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, and then just wipe it off with your Enviro cloth, and it is almost as good as new. So now we don't have any of the hard water mineral deposits um, on there. And you're going to get a better, better stream of water when it's nice and clean, right? So that's that. Um, anything that, that's built up um, that you really need a deep clean. So this is what I use for my, for my monthly like super deep clean. Um, spray it on everywhere. Um, you don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. Let it sit. Let it do its work do its job for about 10 minutes and then just wipe it down um, with your Enviro cloth or your scrubby bathroom mitt. Okay, I'm going to get out of the tub and actually show you this close up. And why am I in the tub? Yeah, well, as I said before, nobody cleans in a ball gown, um, but traditional cleaners, um, you would never, never get close to your cleaning products in a dress, right? Um, but this is to prove a point that our products, um, you use just water, so it's amazing. Okay, so, scrubby corners, or scrubby bathroom mitt. You see the checkered pattern? Every other one has that scrubby property, and then there's a, the microfiber mesh, okay? And this side is the plush microfiber that's gonna be keeping everything in. It's good for right and left-handed. It has a seam down the middle. You can use it on either hand around. Um, again, after you're done washing it or rinsing it out, you hang it to dry by the tab. Everything has a tab. Everything has exactly what it is on the on the tag. So that says scrub. Same. Um, again, you can use this wet or dry. Using it dry, it picks up, like I was saying, on top of the toilet. For some reason, mine always gets super, super dusty um, and it holds it in. Okay. So I'm going to bring you over to the bathtub and actually show you this stuff in progress. So I used to have to like wear, um, you know, like your oldest dirty, you know, t-shirt to clean and now you don't have to worry about it. You can do it really, really, really fast um, with just water mostly, okay? So if you get this wet. Ultra mesh side has that silver built in. You can get most stuff up with just this and water. So I personally don't use much in the bathroom or in the in the bathtub, um, but Jerry still has his body wash and stuff. And um, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Move this down a little bit. So underneath these products, it has all this buildup. You see this right here. We can get rid of that with just a couple swipes in water. See how quick that was? And then, like, not even having any pressure on this. Um, I used to have to really scrub and, like, put a lot of power um, into getting that stuff off. But now, we just do a quick wipe with water, and it gets most of it up. Okay? And I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see all the grime and stuff on this guy. So... This always has that buildup. 
hard water. And again, with just a quick wipe, we can get most of it up. And what we can't get up with just this, we need a little bit more elbow grease, which is where that cleaning paste comes into play, okay? So there's still some build up there, still a little grimy. So again, what the mitt and water can't do by itself, we have the cleaning paste, which again is just ground marble flour, natural soaps, and traces of coconut oil. This is my elbow grease in a jar. So I'm gonna take the scrubby side, that checkered pattern there, the scrubby, just a little bit, a little bit, it goes a long way, guys. You're gonna have this jar for a long, long time. So then we're just going to polish up this side. I'm gonna leave the other side so you can see the difference. I'm just gonna do one side here. Scrubby, scrubby. And then I'm gonna turn it around to the ultra plush side that's wet or damp. And then I'm gonna take a window polishing cloth because this is like the stainless steel. It's really gonna show the shine without any streaks. I'm actually going to try to get this really close. see the difference in the sides here. Can you see the difference on the camera there? One side is sparkling, you can see reflections, and the other side is grimy. Okay, so that is the power of the cleaning paste. Um, and if you saw before, I actually cleaned off permanent marker off a tile with this, with this stuff. It's, it's like magic. It really is like magic. Um, so for the rest of the tub, I take a little bit of the cleaning paste, and I have like, um, I don't know if you can see it so well on the camera, but I'm going to try anyway. So there's like a line here of dirt scum. So I'm just taking this, wiping it across on the scrubby side with the cleaning paste. And it's literally as easy as this, guys. You're just wiping it down. The, all the power is coming from the mitt. So you don't have to work as hard to clean up. It's a quick wipe down with the mitt and everything nice and sparkly and shiny. I'm going to get this bar here. So this is going to be cleaning up all that dirt, the soap scum, mold, mildew, all of that stuff. You can see that it's picking up and trapping in all the dirt and grime. Pretty cool, right? So then you're just going to use the ultra plush side and just polish it up. And you're good to go. It's that easy. You can see all the dirt and grime that it's holding in there. So then all we're going to do is rinse this out with warm water, hang it to dry from the tab, and you're good to go for the next cleaning. The descaler, again, is going to be for even harder to get off um, dirt and grime. So anything like the calcium buildup from the shower head that we did earlier on this guy. Dripping. And even to clean this guy, I just scrubby side, ultra plush microfiber side, and since it is a stainless steel, I'm going to just wipe it down real fast with a window polishing cloth to dry it so that there's no streaks. Okay. 
no streaks at all. You see that? Very shiny. And that was in how, how many seconds? Very, very quick. So the quickest way to clean a shower in your entire bathroom is with just a couple simple products, all natural. Um, most of the time I just use water in this mitt. Um, I very rarely need the cleaning paste uh, because I've already done a deep clean, you know, once every, every month or so, so that keeps it clean. I don't have to clean as often. Um, it just makes it very, very quick. And when you are a busy mom, or just a busy person in general, um, you don't want to spend your time cleaning a bathroom, right? So I'm going to do this, this corner again. It has a lot of products that um, the Jerry uses. For me, I personally don't use anything in the bath anymore. I literally just use my, um, my body cloth, my, I'll actually show you what I use. It's all hanging. Where are we? So what I use in the shower is hanging right there. We have the body cloth, the body scrub mitt, and the back scrubber. That's literally all I use in the bath now. It's been a game changer. I feel like I am not putting as many chemicals um, in my body because I'm not using any. I want to show you, let me turn this this way. Can you see the grime that is? I'm kind of pointing to a wall here, sorry guys. Let me... Okay, so this corner is really, really bad right now. I'm going to remove all of these products. I'm showing you my real life here. <laughs> my real life dirt and grime and gross. That's disgusting. <laughs> so my first line of defense in the bathroom just the, the damp mitt on the ultra plush microfiber side. Let's see how much we can get up with just this and water. Again, if you have an Enviro cloth, you can do this as well. You can get 90% of your home clean with just the Enviro cloth. But sometimes you need a little bit more. You see that little bit right there is still left there? So I'm gonna turn this around to the scrubby side. It still has a little bit of the cleaning paste on it. There's hair everywhere. <laughs> that too. So if you have a guy that shaves in the shower, <laughs> the bathroom scrub mitt is awesome because it actually traps in all those little hairs into that plush microfiber. Okay, so you see there's still there's still a little tiny bit in that corner. Let's try that. Just one little squirt of the descaler. I'm going to let that sit there while I just wipe down the rest of my shower. Very quick and easy. And again, we're removing up to 99.9% of the, .9 of the um, bacteria uh, with just water and the microfiber. Because what's happening is this microfiber is actually picking up, it's not killing anything, it's actually picking it up, storing it in here. When we rinse it out, it rinses all that bacteria away. When we hang it to dry, that silver goes to action. That backlog technology has that silver in it, which is gonna prohibit the growth of any mold, mildew, bacteria, okay? That's what that, the silver agent does in there. And with proper care and laundering, this thing has a two year warranty, guys. Two years, you don't have to buy any of that, um, I don't want to say the actual names, but um, anything that I used to use, like a scrubbing, um, I'm just saying the word, give it away. Um, but anything that like, that was harsh that you're currently using, you don't need it. Literally can clean most of it with just the water. And what doesn't get just the water, you can use a little tiny bit of that cleaning paste and so it melts right away, it melts away with that with the cleaning paste. So I don't know if you can see, but what we had left there, that descaler, it's enzyme-based, so it's actually eating away the grime. 
okay? And then with a quick wipe, it's virtually gone. I probably didn't let it sit quite long enough, but for time's sake, I don't want you guys to sit here for 10 minutes with me. But you can see the dirt and disgustingness that we just picked up, and we are using the scrubby mitt. Okay? I'll take you out now. Woo! So again, if you're just joining, I'm in the bathroom in a ball gown and cleaning. Who does that? Me. I do it. Because why not? It's fun. Um, it's really to show you guys how easy and how non-toxic cleaning the bathroom can be. Um, you're not breathing in any harsh fumes anymore because you're just cleaning with water. And if it doesn't come up with the water, you can use the cleaning paste, all natural ingredients. We have the, the ground marble flour, natural soaps, and coconut oil, trace amounts. So I'm gonna post up some um, before and after pictures, especially of the, like the knob area here, um, the shower, and our wonderful shower head that we got clean in no time at all. Got rid of all of that buildup. And again, just using water, guys. This is crazy. This stuff is so easy to use. It makes cleaning way more bearable. And again, we're not doing it as often. It makes it easy and quick. And just a couple of wipes and you're good to go. You have a nice sparkling clean bathroom. Put his products back. Ooh. Um, I just wanted to go over a couple more things. So washing, keeping, um, keeping your cloths clean. Again, after you're done using them, you just want to rinse them out really, really well with warm water. Hang it to dry, good to go for another use. Um, launder them, depending on how often you're using them. Um, I usually throw them. Uh, once a week or once every two weeks, depending on the product. Um, like this guy, I would I would do it every two weeks. Um, throw it in with your non-lint fabrics. A little bit of Ultra Power Plus. Um, I usually do kind of a big load of all my Norwex stuff. Um, but if you don't have a lot of product, throw them in with your sheets. Um, it's a good reminder to wash your sheets once a week. Um, anyway, or once every two weeks, whatever, if you're lazy like me. Um, throw it in with, with a wash of non-lint non fabrics. Um, good to go in the dryer even. Um, I use the dryer balls so that the drying time isn't nearly as, as much. Um, but throw it in the dryer and then you're good to go for, for another few uses. So you're not going to be doing laundry as often with all those dirty gross rags that start smelling. Um, you're going to save so much time and so much money. Again, two year warranty on the microfiber. Uh, okay, and then the, um, so in the bathroom, oh, I also use my, my little silicone. I think we did a, a demo on this a few days ago. Um, it's replaced this guy because Hunter has figured out how to pull the ring. So to solve that problem, now I use one of the silicone lids um, to plug up the tub. So I'm going to show you here all the products that I have used to completely clean the bathroom. And this is including the toilet and the sink. And um, any shower doors, if you guys have shower doors, you need this stuff. I'm not even kidding. Um, I personally don't have any um, shower doors, but my mom does. And the soap scum that builds up is crazy. Um, she had tried everything on the market to get it off, and the only thing that has worked for her so far is the Norwich products. Um, so what she uses, I believe now she just uses an Enviro cloth um, to keep it clean, but to get it off initially, um, you want to use either the cleaning paste or the descaler, depending on how um, how built on it is. If it's really, really built on, you're going to want to use the descaler, spray it on, leave it for um, about 10 minutes, and then just wipe it off with the Enviro cloth, and then polish with the window um, the window polishing cloth. If it's not terrible, terrible, um, the cleaning paste can usually get it up. This stuff is so, so, so multi-use. Um, I highly recommend this. It's one of like the top 10 products. I think it is on the top 10 list. Um, but personally, like my own personal list, I would definitely have this on, on hand 
it's going to replace anything that you've used, um, like anything that you would use bleach on, I would say use the clean paste. It's that powerful and then it's all natural. There's only three, three active ingredients. It's crazy, but it works. It's like magic. Um, okay, so I'm going to take you off of the stand here and just show you. Woo! Hello, up close. So in the bathroom, all I use, scrubby, mitt, two-sided, and viral cloth, window polishing cloth, and then whatever these products don't get up with just the If it doesn't get up with just the water alone, you're going to want to And then if that doesn't come up, then use a descaler, enzyme-based, and that'll come up, okay? If you guys have any um, hard-to-clean areas, let me know. Post a, post a picture, um, I'm going to turn you around all on. Post a picture on my um, my wall, and I will let you know uh, how to clean whatever it is you need to clean. I also highly recommend the bath towels. If you guys haven't seen these, they're crazy amazing. And I'm going to do a demo, well not really a demo on this, but um, I'm going to show you more on the bath towels and the hair turban. Um, I just got those recently, and I'm in love with them. I'm definitely going to get more bath towels. It's kind of an investment because they're a little bit more expensive. Um, but again, we're not doing laundry as often because you can keep reusing them because it has the silver in the bath towels. Um, and also the, uh, the hand towel, another one of my favorites. Um, great and fun to use. And that is all I have for you uh, right now. Let me know what you want to see. Again, cleaning in a ball gown, nobody does this. <laughs> I, I don't personally do it, but again, I was just proving a point that uh, we're not using anything with chlorine or um, bleach. So we're not discoloring anything, we're, it's all natural stuff. And uh, and yeah, I can do it with the kids in the tub even, which, which is a great time saver. Um, multitasking mama for the win. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys and let all your friends know. Hey, if you're a teacher or a nurse, um, I'm doing a free promo. So contact me to order and I will let you know what that is. Um, if you know anybody who's a teacher or a nurse, let them know as well because I will pass on the savings um, to them as well. And um, yeah, I'm going to go pick up the kids now because they're done with their nap and starting to cry. So have a great day, guys, and I will talk to you all soon.